with the size matter we are in Jacksonville Florida today at their RV show it's a beautiful sunny day I'm glad to be out here the wind has calmed down <laughs> and so we're gonna do another RV review for you today now we are going to do the Rockwood ultralight and the construction for that is going to be in a video at the end that you can link to where you can get all the specifics on how the walls and floors and stuff are built but today we are going to do a tour of the let me check the number the 2020 Ultra 2906 RF. That's the one we're going to take a look at. So, hope you like it. Just want to remind you that everything Corey and I are telling you is based on the research and our opinions, but we're willing to share one of our favorite research resources with you. We'll put it in a link right in the description and you can go there whether you're buying new or used. They're completely unbiased and they have years worth of information to share with you. So, go check them out. All right, let's go around this rig. We'll do the outside first and then we'll pop inside. So to start with, we've got this great front window here. Puts a lot of light inside, gives you a great view. And this is actual windshield grade uh, glass, just because a lot of people had concerns about that. Um, you are getting fiberglass front cap. You're getting a rock guard here. You've got uh, your batteries here, two 30 pound propane tanks and your electric jack. So come around, let's go see what else we can find. Coming down, looks like, yeah, you've got electric stabilizer jacks here. So that's kind of handy, push of a button. These will come out, get you all set up. Coming around, you do have some docking light switch there. Uh, you've got, let's see, so these are gonna be your satellite and cable connections, your tank flush, this is your city water connection, and this is an antifreeze inlet, so I'm thinking that's more for winterizing. And here's fresh water. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, so I guess, <laughs> hello, anything in there? It says there's a water pump and filter access, so you must just remove this so that you can get access to those things. Another light. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about while we're here is the slides. So looks like there is two slides on this unit and they are using, or at least this one is, yeah, because the other one's different. This one is using the Schwintech uh, slide mechanism, which is perfectly appropriate for this type of slide. Also, if you look up high, two things I wanna show you. One is the slide topper and the other one is the rail to catch the rain off of your curved roof and the spout that pushes it away. So let's go down here and see what else we can find. Oh, let's go down. Because down here, you have a fresh water drain valve over here. And here is your hookup for your sewer. And it says we've got a gray here. So that'll be this valve. So the tanks in these units are up and covered in because it has a fully enclosed underbelly. But the valves themselves are still exposed. Um, and here is gray. gray. So this will be black. So those are that's your whole dumping system. And what else? Okay, you get an outdoor shower, a little high, but it's there. And you get frameless windows. You can get these windows as double pane if you so choose. We did want to talk about, <laughs> I'm just going to take this opportunity to share it with you cargo carrying capacity because as Corey and I are researching this you know we'll see different numbers like two trailers exactly the same yet they'll have different numbers um, uh, for weights and cargo carrying capacity and that comes down to options and things that you put on a trailer so if you were to choose to have double pane windows on your trailer that is there's tons of benefits Corey and I would want that but it does add weight to the actual trailer and then that's gonna come from someplace, so it's gonna come out of your cargo carrying capacity. So just when you're thinking through that and you're seeing different numbers, keep that in the back of your mind. Okay, moving on to this slide. If we go down, you'll be able to see in here, this is going to be a rack and pinion mechanism, which is again, appropriate 
for the size and weight of this slide. These are all going to be electric. And again, it's got the topper, so I love that. And let's see what else. Coming back, uh, this is a 50 amp, which probably for this size of trailer, 50 amp is more appropriate. And coming around to the back, ooh, this one has a hard cover over the spare tire. So that's interesting. It is very central. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a two inch receiver back here, which is going to, you could put a rack on here. You could put a bike rack. So as long as it came out far enough to get past this tire, you can put stuff on it. Corey and I love our bike rack. You do have a ladder. That's going to take you up to do your roof maintenance. And while you're up there, you are wired in for backup cameras. So if you choose to go that route, you could buy the rest of the pieces and have a backup system, which is really kind of nice when you're pulling in to see what you're doing. So going around to the passenger side, we get another slide. So that's three total. You can only imagine how spacious the inside is. This is another rack and pinion uh, mechanism. So that is going to be appropriate. It also has the, uh, <laughs> sorry, there is a lot of people here today. So we got to have a lot of background noise. <laughs> Does have the propane quick connect. So that's a nice feature. We wish we had that. Coming around to the side, you get the uh, nice, uh, awning. It'll be an electric awning. Should have LED lighting in it. And you get outdoor speakers. What's behind this door? Ah, an outdoor kitchen. Okay, so important thing to note is that this is the mechanism for which it goes up, which I'm holding right now. And as soon as I let go, I will no longer be able to get it down. <laughs> but it's up there. So, this, you know, a lot of people are really into outdoor kitchens. Not so much us, but that's okay, you guys can. It's got quite a large fridge, and of course we would never use the top of that fridge, <laughs> but it's there for those of you who can reach. You get some countertop space. You get some storage in there, which is nice, it's lit. You get electric, so you could put appliances or whatever up here. What do we have here? Oh, I see. This is new. Haven't seen this before. So it slides out. You have a two burner propane cooktop. So that's kind of cool. So what I'm seeing then is that here's your propane hook up. So none of this is actually uh, plumbed or wired into the entire system. And that's what that quick connect that I showed you uh, on the side of the slide would work good for. So it's all there, slides in and out, kind of, kind of neat. Now, see if we can get this down. Oh, didn't break my nail well. <laughs> we'll yeah, I'll get a tall person to come and we'll put it down. Oh, here's a tall person. <laughs> Great. So moving on, here's some storage. What I like about these is they might seem small, but they're really quite tall. Like you can put long things on end in there. So that's what I like about those. Um, I'm just going to go down and let's take a look at the tires, wheels, everything. Okay. So these are uh, Castle Rock ST tires. 225-75R15. So you get two of those. And remember you get the torsion axle system on here and I want you to go to construction video and check on that and learn a little more about torsion because it's an interesting system and I think it's supposed to give you quite a superior ride. Okay, let's go down here. Couple of things to look at here and it's these little rails which I learned uh, here at the show you can attach table to or a grill to or different sort of accessories outside. Um, I like the idea of attaching them, but they seem a little high. So I'd have to see the, how they actually came down. The other thing is that most of your outdoor cooking is down at the end. So to have it in two spots is kind of spread out. Um, but I'm sure you could figure it out somehow, put something there. 
Another thing that's here is, I believe, a TV hookup so that you could take your TV on the arm and hook it up outdoors if you wanted to have an outdoor TV. Uh, let's see what else. We've got some electrical, uh, another TV plug-in, and wow, that's a fair amount of storage underneath here. And it's lit. That's quite good. And here's your button for your electric stabilizer jacks. So let's go check out the door. I do like this door because it's a friction door, so I like that a lot. Uh, it does have the stopper here, so the door's not going to smack into things, but you know, they're pretty strong, right? So once you put it in place, they're quite good. It's got a good screen, so I like that. It's a self-closing screen, and it's got a window, so I like that. But let me show you something about this as I climb the stairs and pull the door. It's got this little privacy blind in the window, which I love. Just know you can only close that privacy blind uh, when you're standing out here on the step. You can't shut this door and do it from inside because the screen's in the way. So just a thought of something that's a little bit logistically weird, but I don't know exactly how you would fix it other than changing the screen door to the kind that rolls down, which would be very cool because I love those. So let's talk about the steps. Oh, let me open the screen door first. So these are very cool steps. These are definitely an upgrade. This is the step above system. There's a few different ones, but they function the same way. They fold up into the door and they fold back down. And I know you might think like, that's a cumbersome, heavy job. It's so not. These are super light. Look at that. Even I can do it. They go up, they stay in place, and then you just pull them back down. And they have adjustable legs if your ground is uneven or something. So it just gives you a more sturdy step. The only thing you have to be thoughtful of is when you're in a parking lot or you're someplace where you're not having your slides out, these steps are gonna stick out quite a ways. So just be thoughtful of that if you're up against a curb or something, but they are fantastic. So let's go inside and check it out. All right, so this is the Rockwood Ultralight 2906. Um, so quite a bit bigger trailer than the other one we had looked at, but I mean, it's, check out this countertop space. I mean, that's quite large, plus it has this fold out, so that's giving you extra, and you get this handy dandy pull out. I like that, like that's quite the working space. What else do we have in this kitchen? Can I show you the sink? First of all, I like that Rockwood has their sink covers, one of them slatted, see? And uh, then the other one's solid, so it adds to countertop space, still use the sink. Nice size sink, stainless undermount, nice tap, swivel's good, pull down, so that's great. You also get electric here and electric there. Um, not sure why we have an electric here because you can't really fit any appliance there, but it's there if you can find a need for it. Uh, what's up here? Oh, that's pretty good storage. I like that. Magic Chef small microwave that's kind of high up there. The only thing I worry about when microwaves are high is that you've got a hot thing that you're trying to pull out hate for it to spill. What else? So down underneath this pull out, you get a good cabinet uh, drawer. It's on the metal rollers. These are wood fronts, plywood boxes. More storage there. I like that. And what's under the sink? Uh, okay, well, you've still got the plumbing and that kind of stuff, but you could work around that. You know, and whenever things are like that, I say just put some bins in there and it'll keep things in order, right? All right, so you do get a window with a blind in there. I always like a window by the sink. Check these out. First of all, they're quite deep. You can go the whole space. They're very reachable. And then you do get um, LED touch lights. You've got your vent here. Um, you get a three burner propane stove with the cover, so I like that. And you get 
quite a large spacious oven. I'm impressed with that. You get some countertop space next to the stove, so I really like that. I also like this decorative backsplash. It's very nice, it's just too small. For spills and things like that, this needs to come up and it also needs to come around to here. Just a note, Rockwood. <laughs> then you get drawer space. So these are pretty good sized drawers and you get one, two, three, four of them. So that's quite a bit of drawer space. Your refrigerator. First of all, it has the matching wood panel. That's nice. And check this out. Watch that. It's plenty big. I've been having trouble on the Rockwood sites getting you exact numbers on these, but we're working on it. So, but look at this. I can, it's right there. <laughs> Everything is right where we would want it. Love this fridge. Okay. All right, then you move over to the um, theater seating. So this particular trailer with these opposing slides has this ton of space in here. So absolutely nothing's impeding your TV watching. And there's a cool fireplace over there too, but I'll show you that in a minute. So these theater seats are going to have all the, the things, I think. I mean, you know what? It doesn't actually show them as having the massage and the heat and stuff. So check that out if that's a feature you're looking for. But they are very comfortable. And um, I know they'll recline. I just don't see the button for that. Then you get these. So when we're at the show, people are coming and going and coming and going as we're filming. So we get to hear everybody's perspective on all the little details, which I love. Some people think these are great. Other people are like, what? You can't even fit a plate on there. You know? So depending on what you would use this for, um, for us, yeah, I don't need it. There is a big space here to put stuff. There is a um, place for my cup and drinks. You get a window, you get the uh, blinds. It's not a huge window, but I still like it. Any window is better than no window, so that's nice. And then up here, you get another set of those all the way through storage that's easy to reach. So I like that. Then, oh, also I want to point out that the lighting under here is more reading lights for each one of these. Coming over to the couch, um, I notice first of all, that you get a little place to put your drinks or whatever. You get electric. Um, and then, you know, you are still getting the balances, which some people don't like, but others really do. So they're still there. They're not deep, dark, but, you know, the cabinetry and stuff is. You get some great windows. So I like that. The couch is um, pretty darn comfortable and it's going to make out into a bed. So it's going to fold out, move the cushions, it'll live fold out and pull the back down and that would be your bed. Um, this is a huge window. Of course, I love that. But whenever you have a big span of something, you know, it's harder to, to fit things like this and keep them in good shape. This um, has the windows that open this way. Let's see if I can show you that. Yippers. So that's the frameless window and they open out that way. So your airflow is there. It does give decent airflow. I didn't think it did to begin with, but it does. Um, the other thing people say it's good for is for rain shedding. I don't know. We just don't really have a problem with that. I guess we shut the windows when it rains. Um, what else? bunch of storage that I'd have to stand on the couch to reach, but it's good storage. You get a uh, vent here. Did you guys hear that? Listen. They're pretty solid. Uh, let's go down to the floor because I wanted to show you how big and expansive this floor is with these double slides. The other thing is that they are uh, putting venting through the floor. Again, I'm going to refer you to the construction video because it talks about how the floor joists work and how they're spaced apart. Um, but I prefer when the ducting is put through furniture and things because it just doesn't leave a weak spot in the floor. 
You also get uh, a vinyl flooring in here. So as we've been in here, a lot of folks coming and going, giving us feedback on what they like or don't like. Some folks would like to see an island here. Some like the open space. Um, the other thing we talked about is you could put, you know, those storage cubes to put your feet up on or just add some decor. It would, it would all fit nicely in here. So over to here, um, you get another cabinet or countertop space more electrical this is what's in the next slide on this side so this is quite a big tv if i can i'll try and get you numbers but we've had a bit of a challenge um finding them so there's quite a bit of storage back there hey that's the secret space is that the boyfriend spot mm. <laughs> okay entertainment some good uh, shelving space Nice electric fireplace, more electric hookups. What's in here? Oh, so basically pantry space, which is great. There can always fill pantry space with something. Then we move over to the dinette area. Um, I'm noticing in the back down there, there is electrical. I'm just seeing if it's on both sides. No, just on the one side. I'm also not seeing a lot of USB ports or anything, which is kind of helpful to people when you're trying to charge things and the such. But I do like the freestanding table. I'm trying to decide if it has, it has some kind of, ah, there we go, extension. So that's kind of cool. Oops, and it comes out. Maybe it comes out. Yeah, it does. Flush. Sorry, it does. It come, pops up, just so you guys know it does go up flush. Okay, and again, nice windows, big space. As always in a slide, uh, because of the way the mechanisms go and the differences in height, you get carpet. Well, I don't really like carpet, but it's there. I think a bigger deal is when it's in this slide, because... It's right in front of your cooking space, right? This is like more of a messy spot in a floor, at least it is at our place. Um, so yeah. Another thing I didn't point out before is that there's another drawer right here under the oven. Lots of drawer space in this kitchen. On down, let's go check out the bathroom. Oh, before we get there, here's your control panel. So this has got lighting, it's got your oh. tanks, those kinds of things, which we like, it's in a good location for us into the bathroom. So let's take a look at the shower. You got a skylight. Oh, I wanted to mention that there was a skylight in the kitchen too. So you get your standard plasticky uh, surround pieces and they are hooked up here to the base. Not cocked, but this seems like a pretty sturdy base and you get the glass doors that are not completely see-through so that makes Corey happy and they're on quite a sturdy rack system because they're rounded right so i like that because i've seen others that aren't quite so sturdy it also has the aqua miser water system which basically is there so that it'll recirculate the water and you don't have to waste water while you're waiting for it to warm up um, standard fixtures, that kind of thing. So stepping out of here, the, um, the vanity is interesting. <laughs> it seems a bit lower than most, which are you complaining? we are not complaining about folks. I'm just telling you, <laughs> but Corey and I would love this vanity. It's, it's a good height. Uh, I wish it had more countertop space, but it has a huge thing. Standard taps. I do like these. It's just another place to put your stuff. This is a great height for the mirror. Get some storage in there. What do we got here? Just to just put your face cloths or whatever. And quite a bit of storage underneath. So that's nice. Then we get a porcelain Dometic toilet, plastic lid, foot flush. Looks like this is our light switch. You get the uh, fan, the max fan there. You get lighting. AC ducting. Do you see any heat ducting in here? Oh, down here is your heat ducting. And then you move into 
the bedroom, we've got another part of the slide. So what I like about this is you get storage in here and that could be bathroom storage or it could be bedroom storage, whichever you like. Okay, so then this slide carries on into the bedroom area. So you get more um, shelving space and then closet space, like hanging space. So it's quite a bit of storage. I do like when they put the closets in a slide. Then, um, okay, so just so you know, this is as far as the walk around part of the bed goes, which is better than some, so no complaints. But you'd have to kneel up here to reach up to make the bed. Again, not, not a bad thing. Love this. I get my nightstand. I get a drawer. I can put my book. I can charge my phone. There's USB. There's electric. So that's good. There is storage up here. That's good too. I like it. While we're up here, we've got speakers. We've got AC. We've got ducting. We've got lighting. I believe this is a residential queen, but I will get you the numbers on that. Let's see if there's anything under it. Okay, there's some storage. You know, the thing is that it probably just has more storage in other places. Oh, I want to show you something else. Hang on, let me put this down. Just down low here, I want to show you that there is a drawer. So that's kind of nice. And there's one on both sides. So you get that storage and you get the drawers. It is a bit tight through here, especially if you were to put your TV and stuff up here, which it, that's where it's meant to go. Um, you know, your TV sticking out would make it quite tight. But remember that you both could enter this bedroom without needing to walk at the end here because of that extra bathroom space. So you do get another window here and more of this on this side. And you can still reach that upper. Plus you get that gorgeous front window. So you're gonna love that. All right, let's take a look at the numbers for the Rockwood Ultralight 2906RS. The unloaded vehicle weight 7,981 pounds and the cargo carrying capacity 1,719 pounds. So, you know, to figure out how much your truck can tow, add those together. Uh, the dry hitch weight 900 pounds. The length is 35 feet 12, sorry, 35 feet 2 inches and the width is 96 inches. The height with the AC included is 134 inches. The fresh water's at 60 gallons, the gray water's at 45 gallons, and the black is at 45 gallons. Um, now, I wanted to confirm bed sizes for you. This one has the 60 by 80 uh, in the master and then I also wanted to give you, again I cannot find what the actual size of the refrigerator is so I'm still searching um, 13,500 BTU uh, AC that is standard but if you want you can go up to a 15,000 BTU 55 amp converter with charger Last but not least, we have the price here. So at the Jacksonville RV Show at the Campers Inn RV section, you can get this rig for 38,788 American dollars. If you're Canadian like us, you gotta add a whole bunch to that. <laughs> if you've liked this review, give us a thumbs up, please. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click down uh, at the end here on the construction video or another tour or come along on an adventure. We love having you guys along. Thanks for watching.